welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Zoe and I post weekly lifestyle and motherhood related videos, a lot of vlogs. So if you guys are interested in joining the family, I would of course love to have you. Just go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the family. In today's video, we are going to be doing my 29 week pregnancy update and I know it's been so long since I've done a pregnancy update and I'm going to explain to you guys why. So I'm actually in my 30th week of pregnancy starting today, but those of you that watch my updates know that I do my pregnancy updates like a week behind so that way I can tell you everything that happened during that last week of pregnancy. So I just ended my 20th. 29th week of pregnancy so i'm going to tell you all about the 29th week but yeah that is why i do my pregnancy updates a week late for those of you that don't know anyways so i haven't done a pregnancy update in a minute and that is because i had a referral to be sent to like a high risk ultrasound technician because they found some a percentage of numbers that they didn't like from my understanding spinal fluid in the vertical valve they saw a number or percentage of the number that they didn't like, so they are sending me to a high-risk ultrasound doctor so they could further check out what was going on. Anyways, the hurricane happened, and I was never able to get in to that high-risk doctor that they referred me to because my doctor closed down my OBGYN. So we had to go see a new doctor, and when we saw that new doctor, they said the same thing, and they also referred me to a high-risk ultrasound doctor. But I haven't been to that doctor yet. I am waiting to go on Monday. So I was going to wait to do this pregnancy update so I could just kind of update you guys on what was happening with that as well. But I got a lot of requests to do a pregnancy update. So I am doing one for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into all the details of this past week of pregnancy. I'm 137 pounds. I just weighed myself. And as far as cravings go, girl, I need help. All I want is sweets, Rice Krispie treats, donuts, you name it, they call me and it's insane. I love sweets right now and I don't know when that's going to go away. I of course don't crave anything healthy at all anymore and yeah, my body is going to be in trouble. This baby has been super active lately, like very, very, very active and I feel like he or she keeps his or her feet in my ribs like to keep them extra warm or something because I'm always feeling rib kicks all the time like I have to push a foot out of my ribs it's insane that never really happened with Wilder too much but this time around it's just right in my ribs and it drives me nuts but it's so crazy watching this baby move around in my belly you can actually really really see like from the outside of my belly, you can really, really see. Me and Allie and Cameron, we had a little sleepover the other day if you didn't watch my video and we were just sitting on the balcony and <laughs> the baby kicked and Allie was like, did the baby just kick? And I was like, yeah. So it's just crazy that you can just, other people can notice when the baby is kicking. They are just really, really hard kicks and punches and it's just, it's so crazy and incredible to watch. On another note, I am extremely exhausted all the time. I feel like I'm out of that energy phase that you get in your second trimester and it's just slowly but surely winding down and all I ever want to do is sleep and it drives me nuts because there's so much that I want to do and I want to prepare for and I'm still nesting. I've been nesting for freaking ever, but I just feel like there's so much that I want to get done, but I can't because I'm always exhausted and I just want to sleep and it drives me nuts. So if any of you guys have any like energy boosters that are of course safe during pregnancy or any like energizing teas or anything like that, comment below and let me know. Your girl would be greatly appreciative because I literally just, I'm exhausted all the time. So this kind of goes in with the exhaustion a little bit, but TMI, I, my sex drive is literally gone. Like goodbye out the door, don't know you anymore. I feel so bad for Garrick, poor Garrick, but luckily he's just so sweet about it and just makes jokes about it. But I I don't know what it is. This I remember this happening around this time with Wilder and if any of you guys are feeling this way and like your sex drive is gone or whatever the case may be, know that you are not alone and it is completely normal because I yeah, I definitely remember this happening with Wilder and it went away 
quickly after but I'm definitely in that phase right now and I'm sorry but I'm just trying to be real with you guys like that's just a part of pregnancy and a lot of girls may have that a lot of girls may be like complete opposites and just want to be there for it but that's just not me right now and that's just a part of it and grandma if you're watching this I'm sorry click off this video right now but no I'm just trying to be real with you guys and pregnancy hormones are definitely crazy and just the things that pregnancy does to your body it just amazes me like it really does and I know it's gonna go away soon but it is really 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 irritating and I know that it sucks for Garrick too but it is what it is so I had my glucose test recently while I was at my last appointment and it went well I passed thank you Lord even though I wasn't prepared for it at all they were just kind of like do you want to get your glucose test done and I was just like eh, not really but sure I ended up passing so I am so grateful that I don't have to go back for like that three hour test or whatever I passed flying colors I don't know if I mentioned to you guys or not but that appointment was just so exhausting actually yeah I think I vlogged that day but it was just so exhausting Wilder was so tired and we didn't think we were going to be staying that long obviously the glucose test was like two hours long and so Wilder was just throwing a fit he was just not having it and it was just it was a rough day that day and I'm so glad Garrick was with me because I don't know how I would have survived that day without him I don't know how I would survive a lot of things without Garrick I love you babe anyways the baby is uh, the size of a pineapple now so like I literally can't believe it could you imagine like a little freaking pineapple in here we can't wait for this baby and we can't wait for Wilder to have a sibling Garrick and I were decorating the tree and just like envisioning our life and you know how next year we're gonna have this baby's gonna be almost one years old Wilder is gonna be two years old and we're gonna be decorating the tree with both of them and it's just it's so crazy and it's so exciting and we cannot wait to meet this little mystery baby. So those of you that don't know or may be new to my channel, I'm not finding out the gender this time around and it is starting to hit me and Garrick and I want to know so bad now like as we get further and further into this pregnancy we want to know so bad and especially shopping for like new clothes and you know all that stuff it's starting to get a little difficult because there's only so much cute gender neutral stuff and right now we're in the process of doing the baby's nursery and that's getting a little difficult as well, but I know it's going to be so worth it when Garrick just announces if we're having a baby boy or a girl in that delivery room. I just seriously cannot wait for that moment. I just dream about that moment all the time, and I know that not finding out the gender is going to be so worth it because like Garrick said, when we first went into this pregnancy, there's not many surprises like this left in life. And it's true, there's really not. And we are super, super excited. But yeah, it is definitely getting more difficult as this pregnancy progresses. I have the Ovia pregnancy app, I think that's what it's called. And I read it like week by week. And this past week was saying that I'm going to have heartburn probably really bad. And it was not lying the heartburn is so real right now and i hate taking tums because it's just like a temporary fix and then i have to just keep taking them and it's just it gets annoying it doesn't really help that often and i just don't like taking them if any of you guys also have suggestions for that of course leave them down below chat with me i would love to know what helped you guys during your pregnancy i've complained about heartburn probably in all of my pregnancy updates but this past week has just been something real and it's such an inconvenience for sure. I have also probably complained about headaches a lot. I'm still having very frequent headaches but I think that's just a hormonal thing and hopefully it'll go away once I give birth but that is something else that is also pretty inconvenient. As far as stretch marks go, I have gained a few more stretch marks on my boobs that's 
where I have all my stretch marks from Wilder, but I definitely have noticed a few more on my boobs and my butt. And I also noticed the other day actually that I have a stretch mark right above where my belly button used to be pierced. And that's pretty much the only stretch mark that's on my belly, but yeah, I didn't really gain any stretch marks on my belly from Wilder or really this pregnancy except for that one. But I definitely have them on my hips from Wilder, pretty much everywhere else. But yeah, I've noticed a few more stretch marks, which of course is completely fine with me. But that is something that also comes along with pregnancy and something that has recently happened that I've noticed. So I thought I would mention it. And for that, I've still been using coconut oil. Let me know what you guys use for stretch mark prevention or just to like keep your belly elasticified keep your belly more elastic keep your belly more you know what i mean <laughs> let me know what you guys use what products you use what you love i would love to know i still love my ice and my water but i don't have to tell you guys that you already know you're like okay zoe shut up about the ice and the water but it's still stable in my life so had to mention it. The last thing I would have to say is that I'm getting really emotional lately all the time about just the stupidest things, the littlest things. Like I said, we were decorating the Christmas tree. It just made me so emotional. We were watching the Grinch. Wilder was just running around. We were just putting up Wilder's ornament that he picked out and the ornament that I made for him. If you guys did not see that vlog, it is right here. But yeah, I just... It just made me super emotional and my hormones are just through the roof. I don't know, I'm just super sensitive right now and I find myself getting worked up over the littlest things. Before I forget, I will of course hit you guys with a belly shot right here. my 29th week pregnancy update I'm entering my 30th week of pregnancy I am nearing the end of this pregnancy which is so freaking bittersweet and yeah I'm just so happy that I'm able to share these kind of updates with you guys I'm sorry again about the previous updates they will be normal and consistent from now on and I will of course update you guys on the new appointment with the high-risk ultrasound doctor and everything like that so stay tuned for my next videos of course if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already i would love to have you join the family and don't forget to click that little notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and i'll see you guys in the next one bye